Whenever you're working with sellers to enable store within a store, they're going to want to be able to see a visual representation of their store that they're building out. One of the really nice capabilities of a marketplace e-commerce platform with store within a store capabilities is being able to visualize this really easily. And so here you can see an example of a page editor for a homepage in this case. The user is in the preview mode so they can actually see what it's going to look like. And here you can see the same page in an edit mode. Now, if they're building out the page from scratch, they can sort of see like default templates or default zones where content can go. And then whenever they go to add content by clicking the plus button, they can simply drag the particular item into the specific area that they want it to live. And so whenever they do that, they're going to sort of see this visual presentation of what's going to show up whenever the page gets published. So it's just one example of how to do this so that the user can then go into a preview mode and then see what the store will look like. Now, one of the big things that we want to point out about this is that depending on your store within a store, you can be very opinionated about what the default templates are. So the user doesn't really have to change much except for modifying the content to be their specific focus area. So they're not necessarily going to be building anything out if they don't want to. Now, for those more advanced users that do want to go in and highly customize their store within a store, it's really nice to have a marketplace e-commerce platform that has that capability. So here you can see some examples of that where the user can go in and drop in images, image sliders, videos, content, like a text box, a map, contact form, products, product feeds, buttons, etc. Um, these are all options that are pretty easy to turn on in a store management, a uh, store within a store management console. Um, and you could decide what these options should be for your particular store within a store system. Do you want to enable these to be different features that are available for the different store membership levels? So you may have different levels based on performance within the marketplace or based on paying for a certain membership level. And ultimately, the key takeaway here is that we want to encourage you to really consider how your store within a store will be managed by your end users and how you can make this as seamless and easy to do as possible. Again, the big takeaway that we would encourage you to focus on is building templates for some of the different niche offerings within your space and then trying to monitor and manage those generally as the focal point is going to be a lot better than trying to make your editing software perfect uh, within your store within a store. You really want the users, especially these busy sellers, to be able to go in, change a few values, have everything update, and then generally have a really nice turnkey solution by choosing from a appropriate template that matches their specific niche offering. In addition to that, ultimately, in the ideal scenario, you want your users to be able to come in and manage their content themselves. And here again, you can see an example of a way to do that that's really simple and easy for the user to figure out intuitively uh, by simply going to edit and clicking on some of the simple uh, buttons that they can see where plus allows them to add additional content and the trash can icon allows them to remove it. Um, and it's really that simple. And again, this is sort of a visualization of how that might look once content is added. Of course, if you're considering a upcoming marketplace e-commerce project or any general store within a store requirement, whether it's marketplace or otherwise, we encourage you to look at some of these areas and try to ask yourself what it's going to be like for your end user and how you can ensure that process is as seamless as possible. If you're looking for a partner who can help with this, we certainly encourage you to take advantage of our no sales discovery, which is a complimentary discovery process we'll go through with you and your team to conduct one or two detailed deep dives into some of these aspects that you may be considering. The output from this is that we will provide you with complimentary resources to point you in the right direction for how to uh, basically implement the outputs of that discovery. We encourage you to do that, it's complimentary. Either way, if you enjoyed this video, if you would, smash the like button. If you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.